The show begins before getting to its predictable conclusion. Israel's governing coalition negotiating with itself on the budget it needs to pass, which must go through final votes in the Knesset by May 29th, a week from Monday. If the budget does not pass by the deadline, then under Israeli law, the government falls, which is why the expectation is that the budget will pass, but not without drama, spin, and posturing that may not bring down the government, but could hurt coalition parties in Israeli public opinion in the short term. That's because of the role of Yitzhak Goldknopf, housing minister and leader of part of the ultra-Orthodox or Haredi United Torah Judaism faction, who has asked for 165 million U.S. dollars in additional funding for Haredi schools, an unpopular demand both among the public and among economists. Itamar Ben-Gvir is also in the mix, national security minister and head of the far-right Jewish Power Party, even on the Temple Mount on Sunday, demanding more cash for the ministry on the Negev and Galilee regions that his party holds. Jerusalem is our soul, and the Negev, and the Galilee are our spirit. We have to take action there. We have to be the owners of the house, also in the Negev, and the budget is the base for that. The storm over the budget shows how parts of this right-wing coalition are at odds with each other and how the role of the Haredi sector is growing in importance as a factor in Israeli politics.